हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ़ यू हैव एंड डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दीज टू प्रॉब्लम्स सो द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द पाइप असम्बली इज सब्जेक्टेड टू द फोर्स ऑफ दिस डिटर्मिन द मोमेंट ऑफ दिस फोर्स अबाउट पॉइंट ई एंड द सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम अगेन दिस सेम फोर्स इज गिवन एंड वी हैव टू डिटर्मिन द मोमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट बी सो दिस इज पॉइंट ए एंड दिस इज पॉइंट बी so is we know that the moment about point a will be the cross product of the the moment arm so let's say that the moment arm for the first problem is that you want to find the moment about point a so we have to define our moment arm from a to c right so that will be that this is the moment about point a moment about point a so it will be from a to c this is the moment arm or we can say that this is the position vector cross product with the given force f so to find this uh, moment about point a we have to find the position vector from a to c so this will be a position vector from a to c and to find this position vector from a to c we need to move along the x y and z axis since this uh, position vector from a to c defines the position of this point c with respect to that point a so the position vector from a to c this is equal to so to reach that point c from a we need to travel 0.5 meters in the positive x that is in the positive i so i will write 0.5 i then 0.4 in the positive j or along the positive y I will write plus zero point four j, and then minus zero point three, zero point three in the negative z. So that is in the negative k. So that is minus zero point three in the negative k, and then zero point three further in the positive j direction. That is in the positive you know, y direction. So that is plus zero point three j. This is plus zero point three j. so when we add this this is 0.7j right so 0.7j so this is the position vector from a to c now we we need to find this moment about point a so we have to write that determinant so that determinant will be equal to this is i j and k and the components of the of the moment arm that is 0.5 0.5 0.7 and minus 0.3 and then the components of the force f so the components of force f is 600 in the i 600 800 and minus 500 and then we need to take this uh, cross product so for cross product uh, we we need to consider this as positive i this is positive i minus j plus k so the moment of this force about point a is equal to so now we have to hide uh, this row and this column so this will be plus i let me write that plus i into 0.7 into minus 500 or we can say that uh 0.7 into minus 500 and then multiplication of this right so we will write minus minus 0.3 into 800 into 800 similarly we will hide for j we will hide this and this so this is minus j and then 0.5 into minus 500 0.5 into minus 500 and then this minus minus 0.3 into 600 and then plus plus k so let me write plus k and for plus k we have to hide this and this so this will be the sub matrix we have to find the determinant of this so this is 800 into 0.5 and minus 0.7 into 600 0.7 into 
now without solving all these uh, I am going to use this excel sheet which uh, which I have designed for finding the determinant of uh, all these matrices so I put 0 0.5 0 0.7 and minus 0 0.3 600 800 and minus 500 so this gives us uh, minus 110 this is minus 110 this is minus 110 I so I will write M A this is minus 110 I then this is plus 70 this is plus 70 J and plus this is this is minus minus 20 this is minus 20 K this is minus 20 K so this is the moment of this force F about that point A now in the second problem we are asked to find the moment of this same force about this point B so now we have to find the position vector from B to C so now the position vector from B to C so to find the position vector from B to C we have to travel along the X Y and Z again to reach that point C from B so from B we need to travel 0 0.4 meters in the positive J so 0 0.4 in the positive J then 0 0.3 in the negative K that is in the negative Z so I will write minus 0 0.3 in the negative K and then 0 0.3 again in the positive j so z plus 0 0.3 in the positive j and there is no need to travel along the i direction so that is 0 i so this is 0 0.7 j again this is 0 0.7 j so now we have this position vector from b to c now the position vector from b to c is 0 i so we will write this as 0 and 0 0.7 and minus 0 0.3 the same now uh, wherever there is uh, 0 0.5 we will replace that by 0 so that is this will become 0 and this will become 0 so there is no change we will get that minus 110 and this will be uh, let me find it using that excel sheet so, so this is this is 0 0 0.7 and so we get uh, minus 110 minus 180 this will become minus 180 and then this will give us from this uh, minus 0 0.7 into 600 this is 0 0.7 into 600 this gives us four, minus 420 so the excel sheet gives us minus 420 as well this is minus 420 so minus 420k so this is the moment about point b right this is moment about point b we have used the position vector from uh, b to c which is 0 0 0.7 minus 0 0.3 and that gives us this this is the moment about point b and remember that the units are in since the force is given in newtons and these units are in meters so the units are Newton meter.